A potential breakthrough, meanwhile, in the pancreatic cancer treatment. Uh, we want to tell you about this because this is uh, 55,440 uh, expected diagnosis uh, this year, according to the American Cancer Society. But researchers at a London university are now modifying a common flu virus that destroys pancreatic cancer tumors, destroys them while leaving healthy cells unharmed. I spoke with two-time Tony-winning actor and director James Naughton. He has a very personal connection with this disease and shared his thoughts on this new treatment. It's very promising. However, it's only being um, worked on in mice at the moment, so it's got a ways to go. But it would be a huge breakthrough if they could find anything that would destroy a pancreatic cancer cell. So let's talk about that. Pancreatic cancer, the number two killer behind lung cancer in terms of cancers. Mm -hmm. I know heart disease is the number one killer it's of slated, Americans. It's slated to be number two to lung cancer in the next few years. And the reason is, is because it doesn't show up, any symptoms. But by the time it shows up, it's already metastasized. It's already stage three or stage four. Wow. Yeah. And that's why it's so lethal. Your wife's battle, she battled pancreatic cancer for what, four years, five years? Four years. Uh, tell us about that. Well, I mean, obviously you were two there, thing, her partner, things. seeing what she had to go through. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, were the, we did it together. What, two things I learned. One is you're only as healthy as you are when you wake up that morning because you can get a diagnosis for something that you didn't know was coming. Change your life. Change your life. And the other thing is um, you do whatever it takes in that situation. They uh, ran out of things to throw at it. Uh, there isn't a, a chemo that will obviously cure it. But there was a new clinical trial going on at that t during while Pam was sick um, in San Antonio. And so she qualified for the trial and off we went to San Antonio every week for eight months. Wow. We got on a plane in New York together on Tuesday. She Did was treated help on it Wednesday. at all in, in the interim? Well, it, it shrank the tumors for it a did. little while, but then they come back. Yeah, sure. That's what happens, and um, it's that that it's a sequence of that going on for as long as you can make it last. In our case, it lasted for four years. So you and your family recently raised one and a quarter million dollars for the Western Connecticut Health Network. Yeah. You did this in one night. Yeah, yeah. my kids and I. Uh, the kids are all uh, singers and performers and actors and. And my uh, daughter-in-law is Kelly O'Hara, whom you may recognize, big star on Broadway. Last May, we, we did a one-night performance in Westport, Connecticut at the Playhouse and netted uh, $1.2 million. That is fantastic. To support this uh, trial, which is being run out of WCHN. You know, the, something that your, your uh, viewers might want to hear is if they know someone who has an early diagnosis for uh, diabetes and they're over 50, they can get screened for this at no cost to them. They can become a part of the study and it could help advance um, the, uh, uh, eventually a cure for pancreatic cancer. Pretty incredible. My thanks to James Naughton for sharing his story with me. We'll keep watching that.